What is up, ladies and gentlemen? Steven Ostentoski here of Mason Brew, bringing you another Michigan basketball highlights video, and the season is over. And I'm just kidding. That was not fun, though. Michigan against Illinois, and that was brutal, man. Brutal, brutal game. Uh, Michigan loses by a bunch, 20-something points. Um, if you clicked on this video, you're either, one, an Illinois fan, or two, a crazy person. There is no in-between. Um, but let's just dive into here into this madness of a game and figure out what in the hell happened. So I'll call out this guy's name a lot, Kofi Coburn. He turns the ball over and things were looking good early on. And uh, yeah, strange, right after that basket from Franz Wagner, they decide just to call it and it's game over. And uh, of course, that's not what happened. That was Franz Wagner's only points of the game, if that is any indication of how this went. Dickinson, though, really good early defensively against Kofi Coburn. Kofi Coburn, whatever. Mike Smith with the turnover there, trying to get the pass to Dickinson. Here, Eli Brooks with a little runner, can't get the rebound. Uh, good defense again, though. Dickinson denying the entry pass there down low. Here, Livers trying to go through the mammoth of a man that is Kofi Coburn. Dickinson trying the mid-range jumper. He just couldn't get any movement down low, so when he was not directly on the block, hard to get any movement there. Again, good defense on Coburn. He's looking for a foul. He's not going to get it. Mike Smith going for a little runner. Rebound was there for Dickinson, just can't get a handle on it. And we have two points in the first four minutes. This is really ugly. This guy, that guy's name is Andre Corbello. He's the uh, discount version of LaMelo Ball. Here, Livers misses a three badly. Dickinson still giving some grief there to Coburn down low. Discount Mello passes out for the three. And he got a 5-2. Okay. This is my least favorite thing in college basketball, especially ESPN broadcast. Look at how much space this is taking up on the screen. That is two thirds of, right? This is two thirds of the entire court. And you take this up for, you know, I love Franz Wagner, but I don't need to see his silly face on my screen during basketball play. I can't even see where the ball is. Anyway, I'm going to gripe about that. And uh, anyway, here's another thing I'm going to gripe about. Lord Voldemort's back. Right? You got Lord Voldemort here, put on a ref uniform, and he's back, and he calls this a moving screen. So I don't know I don't know how this is a moving screen. We only can see half of it because we don't we have the stupid graphic on the screen. So you see Austin Davis right there. He seems pretty set, like maybe he's leaning a little bit, but that seems like a valid screen to me. Voldemort disagrees. Anyway, just need to call it out because it bothered me, and I'm a little ordinary guy. Livers hits that mid-range. Good block there from Franz. And then you have here a nice pass from Franz, a little fake pass there for Livers. Boom. And would it worry you if I said that was five of his seven points for Livers? It worried me. There's discount Lamello hitting that basket again. Tough shot. Franz just a little awkward on that shot um, with a little hook. Can't get that in. Mike Smith, really difficult low percentage fade away from the baseline. Don't really like that one. Here's Curbelo again. I don't know how this is a foul. I really don't. Right here, right? Is there a whole lot of body here? I don't see it. If you're calling it right there, that's on the floor. Doesn't seem like that's what it's called. It's like right here. You call this little behind, like on the back there. He's not really pushing there. So I don't know. I don't know how that's a foul. He kind of rolls into the GAs for Michigan. Um, but Eli you know, Brooks kind of doing a similar thing there. And then uh, that's DeMonte Williams right here off the backboard. Goes for the goaltend. He forgets to use his brain on that one. And that's an and one for Eli Brooks. There again, number five, Andre Curbelo. Here, Dickinson gets right to the basket. It's not able to put that one in. That's a common theme throughout the night. And I pulled a lot of my hair out. Here, Coburn able to get down low. Good strip there from Dickinson. Again, Coburn this far, thus far without any points. There, just an air balled three from Shawnee Brown. Here we have Curbelo again driving to the basket. Franz Wagner strips that one. Eli Brooks to the elbow for Dickinson. Again, a good-looking shot, one that I would expect him to make. Couldn't hit that one. Here's another name, Trent Frazier. High off the glass. I'll call his name a bunch. And then when have we ever seen this, right? Dickinson dribbling from the elbow. The offense for Michigan just could not get going. Looks like they were doing one-on-one -on -one, uh, throughout the night. Curbelo, another, another tough shot. And I should have mentioned... Ayo Dosumu is out tonight, and uh, they uh, didn't really miss a beat. There you have Johns with the turnover. Curbelo again, down low with a little fadeaway. Pogo stick shot. He was hot. 
here. You got Eli Brooks making a nice pass here. Good off ball movement in a scramble situation there for Johns. Carmelo misses this one. Another thing I'll talk about a lot, rebounding. This one's a killer offensive rebound out to Adam Miller behind the arc. He hits the three. Smith, I thought that could have been called a foul, right? He kind of jumps into him. You could argue this guy goes straight up uh, for Illinois, but regardless, it's not called. Mike Smith off to a tough sh start for this one. Here, really great pass there from Eli Brooks. Good patience displayed from Hunter Dickinson, waiting for the defender to fly by. Here, Miller again down low, but Liver says, no, thank you. Get your hair and that shot out of here. Brooks, again, that's a mid-range that he generally should be able to hit, just not able to get that one. Franz gets his own miss and then misses again. Johns commits the foul for good measure, and nothing is going right here. Coburn just gets in too deep there, gets the and one. He's a very large human. Eli Brooks, again, tough shot there. That that should have been called a goaltend. It wasn't right here, clearly off the backboard. And then you got another block. Refs say, hey, I'm blind. I don't want to call that. And Shawnee Brown, thankfully, makes it not with that make. And speaking of, the, there is no transition because somehow Austin Davis had the most productive night for any big man on offense against Coffee Coburn. If you had that on your bingo board, you're an insane person. And it's the reason I don't bet on sports. That time, just on defense, Davis is just a losing matchup there. Here, fast break opportunity. Frazier misses that one. He got the follow-up there from Williams. And it's a seven-point Illinois lead. Here, Davis, again, using that pivot foot, trying to get that in. It's like the reason I don't bet on sports is Davis outperforming all the other bigs for Michigan in this game. Here's really good defense for Shawnee Brown. Somehow they call this on Shawnee Brown. He can't believe he does a little hop step. Um, but, like, right here, this is the crux of it, right? They're saying Shawnee Brown stuck his knee out. Did he? Like, yes, but also the uh, offensive player is wrapping his arm around this leg. So, I don't know. I don't know. I don't like it, but I am a biased boy. So, meanwhile, Franz Wagner can't buy a basket. This is that one here. Coburn again down low. This is actually really good defense there from Livers staying in front of him. He's just too large of a human. Puts that in over him. Miller with the hair gets the charge. Voldemort coming through. Right behind the basket, you can hardly see him. There he is, his lovely head. And you can see the push off there. Nice of the refs to get one of those right here. Again, feed the big man down low, except he did have a few turnovers because uh, Michigan had to rely on Davis against Coburn so much. There's a mid range for Illinois. Again, they're up 11 at the half, and Livers gets hit with the push. That's probably the right call. And uh, now we're in the second half here, down 11. Mike Smith, mid-range. Hopefully he can get going a little bit. There's a little too much room for Kofi Goburn. They give him the ball, trying to return with Dickinson. This is a good look, right? That's not the worst look, and he usually makes those. He gets called the foul. That would be the second against Coburn there, I believe. Um, here, another drive there for Trent Frazier, able to put that one in. And then here, nice fake there, able to draw another foul against Coburn. That would be his third on back-to-back -back possessions right there. And that's big, right? That gets Coburn off the floor. He's huge. Um, here, good job from Franz Wagner bailing Eli Brooks out, who loses it. Get it to the corner for Mike Smith. He puts down the three. Frazier with mid-range. He's not going away. And uh, the bad thing about this, this is called a foul. I don't know how. I mean, Dickinson is kind of like pushing from behind. I guess that's it. But this guy, number 15, just does like a little sell right here right just a little uh, just a little flop sell and then one thing keep watching this guy because as the game goes on this guy looks like a random fan that he just pulled out and like pulled out onto the bench here and he he is like the guy to watch for any bench reactions for illinois so uh interesting hairdo from him too so look at him <laughs> look at him go he's going crazy so that's a good three from illinois this guy's got all the moves uh i love it i love it um, but yeah, just, I, I actually, let me go back. I don't even know how this guy got lost, right? Yeah, this is, this is odd. This is odd. They're playing a zone. That's what Michigan's in. They're just in a zone. Uh, the help doesn't come out quick enough from Franz Wagner there. And you got the bow and arrow coming out of the bench boy there. And, uh, you got Illinois up 11 here. Franz really low percentage shot down the baseline. Can't get anything going there. Again, Illinois forcing a bunch of tough shots here. Little awkward. Lay up there, able to put that one down. Up 13 now. 
And then another fadeaway mid-range on the baseline. These just aren't shots that Michigan takes at a high clip that they had to. Meanwhile, you have this guy with the hair hitting this three. A little step back. Franz Wagner can't get anything going. That's when he was hitting really consistently. We got Davis again down low. Good rebound. Able to put back that dunk. Here's Miller with the miss. Scary moment here. So watch right here. After this miss, Davis and Livers down low. Right there, Davis. Oh, falls awkwardly onto Livers. You'll see Livers getting up really gingerly, trying to get out to cover. Discount Lamelo. He misses. They're able to get a put back, and Livers is hurt a little bit. Here's a replay of that. You can see Davis just lands on the right ankle there, immediately wincing Livers. Uh, he went to the bench. He did eventually play back, but he was uh, play a little later, but he was a little ginger on that ankle. Um, so something to watch moving forward. Uh, here, again, the offensive rebounds just killing Michigan in this instance. And uh, down 17, again, another mid-range fadeaway at the elbow there. Not a shot you consistently want to take. There you have just an impossible shot from Trent Frazier. Gets that with the end one. Finally, John's able to stop the bleeding a little bit. Gets the basket down low with a little hook shot. Michigan, though, still down 18. And then meanwhile, you got Frazier nailing these threes. The bow and arrow for our favorite guy comes back out. There it is. And uh, they're having a good time. And they should. They're up 21 over uh, one of the best teams in the country. Franz Wagner able to get the block there. Coburn down low. Again, not the worst defense from Dickinson down there, but he's just able to get the putback. And that's it's a big one. Dickinson right there. Again, Ball just not cooperating. Lid on the basket for Michigan here. Good look there for Livers, but man, look how far off that is, right? Could be the ankle, could just be uh, the entire night how it went. And uh, Trent Frazier not slowing down, able to get that basket. 23 points for Michigan. There's a turnover. Here's another basket. Nope, this isn't a basket. This is a foul. So watch... <laughs> Watch a couple guys in particular. The whole bench explodes like Franz Wagner just decapitated this guy. And then watch this gentleman. He's going to stroll up to Franz, picking, like, looking for a fight right here. He's like, whoa, well, you want to square up? And Franz is like, hey, I just fouled the guy. And he actually got a hand, like, on the hand, on the ball right there. And, I mean, the guy just keeps running into, you know, the 15-foot long arms of Wagner. Yeah, it's going to wrap around his body after that. So... I don't know. This is somehow called a flagrant, but the elbows from Brad Davison throughout the season have not been called a flagrant. So what do I know? Um, so whatever, right? And this, this just one one of those kind of games, one of those calls there. Nice little dribble there, crossover to nail the three, and you got a 28-point game. Livers continues to struggle. Finally, Eli Brooks able to hit a mid-ranger and stop the bleeding. Still down 26, though, with eight minutes remaining. Carbello tries to get that one. You can see Livers landing a little gingerly, gets the goal 10, so that basket counts. 26 is the deficit right now. All right, okay. I don't know what that word was. Okay, so this is a miss, right? One thing to watch, and something that he was doing consistently right here, watch Carbello. He's going to stop right here and then he's gonna hook a little bit with his arm on mike smith all right i'll pause it right there you can see him hooking kind of holding him off like that still holding still holding push off going for the basket and uh juan howard does not like that okay so michigan gets the rebound you can see right here he's saying hey do your job call the foul i don't like you the ref's like i don't like you you get a technical john howard like well i still don't like you and now you're gonna walk away he's got the angry eyebrows other coaches come up, it's like, yeah, I'm angry too. They're all mean mugging him. He doesn't want to look at them. John Howard's looking intimidating. He's going to say, that's a hold. He's holding him. And he's right. But this is more of like defend your players. Game's out of hand later on. That's about how this game went, right? This, this was me before the game. That's me during the game. And I repeat that like 20 times. And that's how I felt throughout this game. So nice of Shondi Brown to kind of give me a visual representation for this video of how I feel. Not great. And Nunez right here, that's also how I feel making this video. It's late tonight. I don't want to be doing this. <laughs> I'm just joking. But uh, Dickinson trying to get the offense going. Again, that's good look. 
right? Left hand over the right shoulder, usually makes those off the glass. Nothing going for him. Coburn somehow had Eli Brooks on him down low. That's never going to work. Here, Curbelo just going with a ridiculous layup. He's having a good time. And it's back up to 28. Davis continues to be a force on the offensive side, which I did not expect to say those words today. Eli Brooks, good drive there. And uh, he's Michigan's leading scorer, believe it or not. Good little hesitation there from Curbelo. Able to put that one away. And now you have the bench cleared, right? Adrian Nunez going in with that basket. Able to get that one. Good move from him. Here, a little no-look pass. What is that? And one of the bench guys for Illinois gets that basket. And thank God, it's over. Holy shit. And uh, <laughs> let's go to stats, okay? Brooks, 11 points. Only guy from Michigan in double digits on three of eight shooting. Two rebounds, two steals. That's your guy if you're Michigan tonight. Davis, second most on the team. Nine points, four of four field goals. So by far the most efficient player for Michigan. Three rebounds, one block four turnovers, so maybe not the most efficient, but uh, nine points and uh, no real help elsewhere down low. Dickinson only had six points on the night. And then Livers, seven points, two of seven shooting, six rebounds, and one block. So that's it. Those are your statistics words from this game in that regard. Three key points. All right. Number one, perspective can go a long way, right? This is ugly. I want to punch myself in the face after doing that. But it's the second loss of the season, okay? And we're in March. Better to get it out now, right, than later in the tournament, whether Big Ten tournament, NCAA tournament. Michigan's likely to have locked down a one seed already. Michigan's still in control of their destiny. A win against MSU on Thursday will solidify their Big Ten championship. They can hang a banner if they do that. So the sky isn't falling, even though that was a gut shot and it feels terrible. All right, number two, rebound, rebound, rebound. Okay, Illinois out-rebounded the Wolverines 42-26. to You're never going to win a game if that happens, right? That's tough to win with that sort of margin. Felt like something that they obviously want to pay attention to moving forward, says Mr. Obvious here, but it felt like it wasn't corrected after the first half either. So something to drill, really put into the mind of, of Michigan because opponents will look to exploit that moving forward. If Illinois could do it, you know, it's hard to replicate the size that they have moving forward, but uh, something Michigan wants to watch, and then that kind of leads into number three. This is film that Michigan will want to go back to soon, right? Maybe not immediately with a quick turnaround against Michigan State, but Illinois is able to seriously disrupt Michigan's offense. Need to make sure that it's a game that the coaches can go back and learn from, and better to have these things to learn from now. Again, like I said, in a tournament setting, you aren't as lucky to have – those learning moments later on like they do today so that's it if you're still here you're a crazy person and i appreciate you like and subscribe if you haven't already helps out the channel quite a bit and now that's out of the way let's get ready for michigan state beyond that guys hope you guys found some enjoyment out of this you sickos but uh otherwise thanks for taking the time out of your day to watch this stay safe out there and as always go blue